Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing legacy It is a brand new week. I am ready to film a bunch of videos um, I'm also gonna be returning to streaming this week still deciding on a day. It'll either be Wednesday Thursday Friday I'm not sure yet. So uh, yeah, make sure to join the discord. The link is in the description I post everything about streams and videos on there in case like YouTube isn't telling you when I upload or any of that stuff, Discord will tell you. So I would join the Discord if you want to keep updated on everything. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed the last episode. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the vampire girl that we met. I thought that was such a fun like thing. Like I, I knew I wanted Sarah to like meet someone, but the fact that it's like this really beautiful vampire woman. I'm just like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, we do need to go back to Tomerang um, to complete her aspiration. And then I do want her to max her Selvadorata skill. Um, I did ask you what aspiration you thought Sarah should have. And a couple of you said that she should do all of the travel aspirations, which I think is really cute. I really like that. Or the super parent aspiration I saw a couple times too, which also makes sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's just play and see how things go. Thank you for being here. I love you let's get into it okay here we are back in the compost household i was able to fix the blur um situation that was really annoying in the last one it's as easy as pressing shift 2 which is honestly insane but but anyway so ren is at work i'm also glad that you guys enjoyed her makeover video that was really really fun for me i enjoyed that a lot it's always fun playing with her and cast um She's at work. I don't know if she's going to be getting a promotion today. Uh, no, she's not, but that's okay. She's, she's, she's getting up there. Sarah, uh, I believe we just got back from Tom Moran. Yes, we just got back. She kicked up all this food for her aspiration. Excuse me. Um, and Edison is, of course, on his computer. Always on his computer. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's our new fish from the, from the last episode too. These bonefish are so cool. I had no idea they existed in this game, but I'm glad that we found them. Um, okay, let's have a look at the calendar real quick. So we have Winterfest in a couple of days. I'm wondering, should we do something for Winterfest Eve? Mm, or should we just do it all on Winterfest? I don't know. I have been meaning to like go through the calendar and add um custom holidays some more of them and deleting all of the um holidays i don't like like neighborhood brawl and talk like a pirate day <laughs> but i can do that off camera yeah it's like super 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 snowy outside our ranch hand keeps changing i don't know if they like take shifts or what but oh what are you making sugar cane juice <sighs> delicious she probably uh taught her dad that recipe <laughs> But uh, yeah, Sarah works Monday through Friday, nine to five, which kind of sucks because we can't really take a vacation yet because she's got work. I guess we could technically take some vacation days, but let's wait, wait a little bit because she literally just got back tonight. Um, she needs to study Modern Love on the computer again. She's thinking about New Skill Day. Okay, well, um, I think, yeah, this should help with her, her romance skill a little bit. And then Edison, I did want you to max your comedy skill as well. So come in Evangeline's house, tell Joe. You can bring your juice with you if you want. I don't mind. Oh, he's done, okay. All right, she's studying modern love. Her romance skill's going up. Edison, is there a club gathering going? Start gathering. All right. And then Ren, we have a couple hours left of new skill day. So why don't you come and craft some of this? Now we're working on her nectar skill. Oh, I should have given her a nectar making outfit. I did give her like a working on the farm kind of outfit. So I guess she could wear that. What? Why is she shoeless in every outfit? Oh, it's because she's making nectar. Okay, I got scared for a second. <laughs> this one. This is pretty cute. Ha ha ha, indeed. Okay, he's working on his comedy skill. He is level nine. Oh my gosh, yes. He'll probably max it. I hope Triss hits us up soon. <sighs> she's so cool. I feel like she's too cool for us. Um, Mari is having another baby. Oh my goodness. Okay. So child of the island, self-assured, freelance artist. I don't know her last trait. Uh, that's okay. 
She can now perform seductive dance anywhere and tender neck kiss with other sims. Wait, she can do the dance now? The dance? You guys know the dance. You guys know the one. Nectar making level four. Come on, Edison, you're right there. You're right there, get it. Oh, he already got it. Huh, okay, cool. Well, he's about to max it. Sarah's romance level five already. She can now suggest back-to-back woohoo and recap woohoo with other sims. Excuse me? Good job, Edison. He can now improvise routines with the microphone. All right, sick. Okay, well, I guess she's too tired to continue researching, but that's okay. She did what she needed to do for for work. So her aspiration, collect unique tassels, explore the cave, explore the sanctuary, and visit the statue of Kun Mei. Oh, hi, Evangeline. Everyone had an awesome skill day. How do we get tassels? Visit the night market, interact with the stalls. You can find them in piles of sand on the beach or when exploring the sanctuary or the cave. Hmm, we don't even really need to like take a vacation per se. We can just like visit for like when she gets off work or something or whenever we have time or whenever she's in a good mood. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be overnight. If it is overnight, we could totally stay the night at our, uh, I was about to call her our girlfriend, our uh, situationships house. <laughs> is that what it is? I'm actually really curious to see who she lives with. All right, well, we max comedy. I don't know what to max next. I guess handiness, hmm, he could max romance too. That might uh, make things a little bit easier for us. Sorry, Ren, I'm gonna have to kick you off the computer. Oh, whoa, I guess researching love on the computer is uh, only for romance consultants. Very interesting, okay, I guess that's fair. Maisie grow, crave out. It's insane how fast food goes bad. Aww. William passed away. Poor William. I wonder if he died from old age or if something else happened. William and Colby, they were Felix's kids. Uh, yeah, and Felix doesn't even show up on the family tree anymore. So I don't even know how we would see how they died. So lame. So Bellamy is married, Ophelia is married, Bailey is not, Marnie is. Man, this family tree in The Sims sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Wow. 15,000 reward points. Never weary Sims never needs sleep. I feel like we never get this, so I'm gonna get it for Edison. Why not, you know? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Be married to a BFF. Hmm. Mescanor. Cute. Miss Stella, an icon. Someone said we should put a picture of Alice above the archaeology table. I freaking love that idea, but I don't think we have any. I'm gonna have to check all of the uh, all of the pictures down in the basement. Whoa, she can make a gnome-shaped gemstone. <gasps> wow. Ooh, with jet, yeah. She has to make uh, gemstones or jewelry while focused. She's feeling focused right now, so I'm gonna make her do that. It's for her aspiration. Get off your phone, my oh my God, she's not focused anymore. Trying to get a, a sim to stay in the same mood is like, it's so freaking hard. Not the thrifty notification again. Oh, Sarah's awake. Good morning. She's off to go potty. What time is work again? Nine, okay. <gasps> you know what? You know what I just realized? We can work from home with this job. So that means we can work from home and go to summering whenever we want. Let's see what that entails. Um, research forms of intimacy for two hours, research expressions of love for two hours. Okay, four hours is so much better than eight. So yeah, and we got bills. Of course, I'm gonna have Edison pay those. What's he doing to the fish? Clean, Oh, nice. I kind of love that we can have a science baby as a single parent. I don't think I've done that yet. I wonder, the child will probably just be a clone 
of the parent? Or do you pick a surrogate? Not a surrogate, a sperm donor, excuse me. <gasps> oh my god, look at this thing. This thing is crazy. 1,687. Yeah, let's charge it. Look at her, she's very happy. Excellent holiday, strong camaraderie, nothing tying me down from single and loving it. Decorated and home sweet home. Someone's calling Edison, Melanie. My date with Kellen McQueen went very well. Kellen McQueen, that's such a sick name. <laughs> it's so good. That sim should be famous 100%. 100%. Her romance skills going up so fast. <gasps> Guys, Sarah can now scan the room for possible romance around herself. Is that like the same as the thing from Wonderful Whims? Cause if it is, holy crap. Scan the room. Look around to see the romantic possibilities. Who's looking to be wooed? <gasps> How freaking exciting is that? Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times, yes. Okay, we did it. We finished our work from home tasks. That means we have the rest of the day to do whatever we want. We're in a pretty good mood. We're just a little bit hungry. So I vote that we go to Tomarang and uh, try and find that last tassel that we need. So we can either get them at the night market or in the cave. We got to explore the cave anyways. So we might as well go over there. We save real quick. I need to get better at that. I'm usually pretty good, but I need to be even better. You know, I don't know where the cave is. I guess let's travel. Hmm. Let's travel to this empty lot. Who knows? Maybe we'll see Trist walking around out and about. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can search for frogs here. There's a little beach right here as well. Digging sand pile. We can fish right there. I really like this lot. It has its own private beach. It's pretty amazing. Sunflower frog. Okay. Boring. <gasps> We did it! We found a purple tassel! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's done. What's next? Explore the cave. Go to the tiger sanctuary. Um, I don't know where any of that is. Is this it? it there's a tiger right there. I, I assume that's probably it. Oh! Visit the statue. Oh, okay, that's the statue. Perfect. <laughs> Below the statue, a small plate with an inscription reads, a stone at first glance, not a thorn upon its rose, but no tiger stood a chance as love had come to blows. A wayward tale of chance, some mixed feelings for a cause, a timid young romance or a steamy tist with claw, tryst with claws. Forget the age old dance, be together or apart. Find the one or take a stance, a true tiger in their heart. Love bite by Juan Cordero. Neat. Oh my gosh, I found the cave. I found the cave. Uh, I was just like flying around and I found it. I'm, I'm sorry, I wish I could. I was about to like open my map like in Fortnite to show you guys where it is. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna get her to teleport here. And uh, yeah, let's explore. I think we only have to do it once. Uh, Sarah's eyes struggle to adjust to the cave's darkness. All she can do is stumble around, arms stretched forward, hoping not to trip over any rocks. A faint sound suddenly catches her attention, skittering, squeaking, and is that whispering? Frightened, Sarah freezes in place. Could someone or something be in the cave with her? An animal? A ghost? <sighs> Take a deep breath and listen. Sarah inhales sharply, holding her breath and tensing every muscle, listening, waiting. The sounds are unchanged, but she also can't seem to place what they are. Thoroughly unnerved, she decided to book it before anyone or anything notices her. Okay, cool. And now she's playing guitar. All right, so the last thing we need to do is explore the tiger sanctuary. I don't know where it says there. Um, oh, why do I feel like this is it? Aha! Support. Adopt a tiger. What? Hold on a sec. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, come here. Teleport here. Wait, what? Create animal. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, view that. Let's visit the sanctuary. Kanbei lived a long and fruitful life serving her people. The Tamarani people still honor her and the oath to the tigers of mutual protection. Legend says her soul continues to pass through the generations of tigers that come after her. If you keep an eye out, you might catch her watching from the brush, ensuring her promise is kept. Others say the glowing eyes are an omen of the beast's inevitable return. Regardless, 
Kun Mei lives on in truth or and in legend as the great mother of Tomarang. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's probably really annoying if I am. <laughs> Rar means I love you, right? Sarah is so excited to potentially catch a glimpse of the tigers and the anticipation is too much to handle. With a burst of joy, she lets out a <laughs> small meow. <laughs> It's a weird moment for Sarah and a weird moment for everyone else in the sanctuary too. It was probably the lack of context around someone randomly meowing that set the tone. Well, we did it. We are done with the aspiration. That was so easy, dude. Sarah has personally experienced and knows all the best hangouts around Tomarang. Along the way, she has had a lot of great adventures. Trait Urn, Tomarang expert. These Sims are better at cooking Tomarani cuisine, finding tassels, getting along with Sims with the child of the village trait, and will be more successful when exploring the Suleya Tiger Sanctuary and the cave. Okay. Cool. Sneak into sanctuary. <gasps> what? Is that because it's nighttime now? We can't visit it right, right now? Hold up. No, no, no. It's closed. Oh my god, we're totally sneaking. Are we gonna get arrested? Good lord. Sneaking through the lobby, Sarah sees an employee's only room to the far right. That must be where they keep the good snacks. <laughs> Tiptoeing towards the door, the sound of approaching footsteps echoes off the stone and tile. Someone's coming. She better find a way to avoid getting caught. Make a sneaky dash for the employee room. Hide in a trash can. Sneaky dash. Today, Sarah learned that standing as still as silent as possible doesn't make you invisible. The guard could clearly see her in the doorway and ejected her on the spot. You are temporarily banned. Banned? Whatever, I don't care. We've completed the aspiration, so. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go to the lounge. Um, she's really hungry. Ooh, should we go to the night market actually? Yeah, I think we should. See if there's any more tassels we can get for the collection. Dang, I can't believe we got banned. Oopsie, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what I expected really. Okay, uh, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's seven. Okay, there you are. Hi, I'm hungry. Bans it all the way. So good. Okay, yeah, and then I definitely want to hit huh? this booth for the tassels. Oh no, does she have an angry moolah from that? Silly tiger tricks are for kids. Sarah seethes with silent fury. How dare they throw me out, right? As a Tomorani expert, so not chill. Okay, uh, let's get this marble because I know, ooh, light green tassel. We already have a pink one, I think. Sulani swirl, thank y'all. All right, let's see. How many tassels are there in total? Three out of 15 marbles, three out of 10 tassels. Light green, pink, and purple. That's all we got so far. Zang. All right, now let's choose a different aspiration. Um, you guys said to do all of the location ones. Mount Kamarebi Sightseer. Do we have to climb the mountain? No, we don't. That could be interesting. There's no Selva Dorada one. So we either do beach life, get a suntan, Eat a coconut. Hmm. Reward trait laid back. Sims who are laid back never become tense. What about this one? Worldly knowledge. These Sims are better at socializing during social events and enjoy ordering food from market stalls. They can also negotiate a discount at market stalls, which gives them an advantage over other bargaining techniques. Hmm. I think that the Mount Kamarebi one would be fun. I've never done this before. Wear a festival costume from a vending machine, go sledding three times, eat food with chopsticks. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. Dude, I think it would be so cool if we were able to do all of the, all of the, uh, what should we call it? Aspirations. She'll just be like so cultured and so cool, so freaking cool. Should we go pop it? Uh, pop into a uh, homegirl's house? Kind of want to see who she lives with. <laughs> I'm really curious. Let's see. It's not that house. Not that one. Not that one. Vanilla. I think this is her. It is. She lives with someone. Huh. Let's go visit and see what's up with that. They're probably just roommates. They're probably just roommates. Hey, I was just in the area. I wanted to say hi. Look at these photos I took today at the tiger sanctuary. Aren't they cool? Oh my gosh, tell her the story about how you got Let's see, funny story, tell funny story. 
Tell her about how you got kicked out. Oh. Oh, they're going to woohoo. Oh, no, they're not. She can't get in. How do I get up to your place? Oh. Hey. Um. Let's do a Tomorani introduction to her roommate. What? Why can't you get in? What happened? Oh, knock on the door. I feel like this is one of your guys' sims as well. She, lo she looks too CC'd up to not be, you know? Oh, she's a vampire as well. What the? Huh. Interesting. Other sims. Ask about another sim, Triss. So how do you know Triss? Are you guys just roommates, friends? What's, what's the vibe? What's the vibe here? Triss is one cool sim. I like her. Okay, well, that's a good sign, right? I'm really scared that they're going to get romantic with each other. Turn off's brown hair. Oh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> All her turn ons are closed. Wow, that's wild. Okay, well, she, I'm trying to talk to her and she just keeps running away. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to head home for now. Maybe we should have a little boo thing in each world that we visit. <laughs> we'll have a Tomorani girlfriend, a Mount Kamarebi girlfriend, a Solani girlfriend, a Salvadoradian boyfriend. Why not? All right. Well, let me just double check that we did everything for work. We did. She's feeling real sleepy. It's almost 2 a.m. So let's head to bed. What's Ren up to? She always stays in the same freaking outfit. She never changes. Also, are you out of plasma packs already? There's no way. I just bought you like 50. Yeah, you know, you're not. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. She just, she just growled from thirst. Oh, we have a capsule we can open. It was not a new one. That's okay. Edison is sad about the death in the family. Understandable. What? Okay, hold on. Did you guys see that? She was about to try for baby and money pile with Sarah. Like, come on, dude. Come on. Oh, you poor guy. I feel for you. I really do. Let me get you a moodlet solver here. <gasps> Sarah got promoted. Aww. Romance practitioner, baby. Hell yeah. Um, we got a cash bonus. We're not really getting any items from these promotions, which is fine. It's all good. Oh, I so I think she's level four now. All right, drink. And then Sarah, shoot, why don't we just work from home again? Like, all we have to do is watch TV and go on the computer. <laughs> okay, hold on, pause, 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 pause. What do we have to do? Research expressions of love and watch reality dating TV channel for two hours. Dude, best job ever. Take a rose petal bath when you wake up. And then Edison, I do want you to check out Cupid's Corner today. Uh... Our girl hasn't hit us up, like, at all. Like, a relationship is a two-way street, babes. You gotta, you gotta call us in Texas sometimes, too. Hmm. Okay, Kira, loyal. This trait is a turn-on. All right, let's save her. Wow, two turn-ons, cringe and art lover. All right, let's save him, too. I thought this guy died. Did he not die in the last episode? Am I crazy? <laughs> so we have a couple of saved people. Crystal, she seems interesting. Outgoing and dance machine. Add to contacts. Ask to create date. <gasps> Ooh. We haven't gone this far on Cupid's Corner before. What is so stinky around here? Oh, this. Okay, empty it then. Oh! Oh! Get to know your date. Yeah. I guess we can go to a restaurant. I placed one in Glimmerbrook. And I literally don't remember placing this at all, so we're gonna check it out and see how it is. I never go to Glimmerbrook. I just feel like it was kind of a flop. Like, a Realm of Magic world, there could have been... It could have been insanely beautiful, but it kind of just reminds me of, like, living in a forest. Okay, it's snowing. That's fun. <laughs> all right, so this is our date right here. Crystal ha Harjo? Um, purple eyes, she's, she's really beautiful. How does he feel about her? He already knows her. 
Good compatibility. Neutral, huh? Growable. What did you just do to her? Tell a gross joke. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess let's get this. Oh, just kidding. Not that one. This one? This snowy table over here. Why is it decorated for Halloween still? Oh, she changed. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the table. I appreciate it. Look at these two. So cute. All right. So... Deep conversation, obviously. Hobbies. Oh, they got a good sentiment. Green Fiend is her last trait. What's your career? Uh, a bean blender at the Frothy Foamer. Okay, so she's a barista. How nice. Um, let's see. What to have? What to have? I think chili sounds nice on this snowy day. Just a little snacky. Sir, get off your phone. That's so rude. I want to know about your hobbies. How come I can't ask about them? They're getting along really, really well. I have to admit it. <laughs> they keep telling each other gross jokes. Date actions? Ask how date's going. Oh my god. He's not asking very confidently. What'd she say? What? Edison may need to pay attention a bit more. Be sure to complete some date goals. There's still a chance of having an okay date. I don't even have any goals, though. I didn't make it a gold date. Evangeline. Sorry, we can't right now. Hi, Mari. Benorba KBC, but Crystal has learned that Edison is unemployed. Listen, I'm not unemployed. I just... I own a business. How come whenever they ask them about like physical attraction or even personality attraction, they ask so awkwardly? Turn ons, dark blue hair, gray hair, green hair, white hair, boho fashion, turn offs, blonde hair. Okay, well, at least we're not blonde anymore. <laughs> turn ons, highly skilled sims, arts and crafts skills, sense of humor, emotional decision makers, turn offs are uh, academic skills and argumentative sims. Huh, well, that's pretty good. That's good for us, I think. Do you like the chili? Is it up to your standards? <laughs> oh, 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 hold up. I got a little thingy. I think she thinks we're attractive. Does she? Gosh darn it, I need to ask her. Hold up. He's doing an impression, or he's making funny faces right now and she's totally into it. Learn more. Ask for attraction level. Oh yeah. She was so into that funny face. Holy crap. Do you are you attracted to me? Question mark? Gotta be blunt. You gotta be blunt. I do find you attractive. Oh my goodness gracious. Ask for attraction level. <laughs> Actor knows target score? What the heck does that mean? Actor. Attracted. Okay. Well, they don't really say much else. They're talking like constantly back to back. She's describing a robot invasion right now. She knows what we like. She she gets it. She understood Edison's assignment. <laughs> Bye, Ren. Have a good day at work. Okay. Made a good new friend. Aw. Well, none of them are doing anything romantic at the moment. I don't know if they ever will. Who's this? Lauren Landgrab on a date with an alien? Oh, his wife. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Well, the date ended. 
Thank you for a nice time. It was lovely getting to know you. Perhaps we can do it again. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, you need to uh, watch reality dating. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Look, from all of the romantic stuff she's been doing from her job. Sarah has become overwhelmed with romance lately and feels a compelling desire to embody the essence of a love, love bug. Embrace the change. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So cute. I love it. What exactly is it? <laughs> Sims with this trait are constantly swept up in the whirlwind of romance. They fall in love easily, often wearing their hearts on their sleeves. Well, that is a lot different from uh, how she used to be, but it kind of makes sense, honestly. Traveling, meeting someone, um, watching all this romantic TV and researching all this romance on the computer. I'm honestly not surprised and I love it. I think it's adorable. So yeah, she just has to research expressions of love for two hours. I'll leave her to it. Edison is doing Walt. Always playing Sim Scuffle. God, this guy. He plays so many video games, it's not even funny. Check for pen pal replies. Don't mind if I do. We do need a postcard collection. Sarah can now perform steamy makeout and build up partner with other Sims. <gasps> Let's go, Ren. Let's freaking go. Diamond agent or villain? You've risen through the ranks and have unparalleled clearance. As a diamond agent, every mission is critical and no misstep forgiven. <gasps> villain, your superior intelligence and training are too great to waste on doing good, so why not be the best among the world's worst? <sighs> um, let's do diamond agent for her. Hell yeah, Ren, GG's, GG's. Okay, Sarah did all of her work tasks. Um. Why does it say she's asleep right now? No, no, no. We need to <laughs> we need to go to Tomering again uh, to the night market to see if there's any tassels. Oh, yeah, we're just going to have to keep going every night and seeing if there's any new marbles and new tassels. That's fine with me. It doesn't take that long. Here we are back in Tomering again. Now, I'm just trying to go to the freaking good shop. Yeah, this one. Unfortunate. Nothing new. I wonder. I wonder when the shops refresh. Is it like every week? I also want to go see if we're still banned from the sanctuary. There's another sand pile that we can dig. Is there another frog? There is. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Ew? Ew what? Oh my god, Teddy and Cliff are having another baby. Holy crap! Why am I getting pop-ups for these people? I don't even know who they are. What did you dig up to make you say you? <laughs> what the heck happened? We can still sneak in? No way. I'm doing it. Uh-oh. Under the cover of night, Sarah approaches the sanctuary's entrance in hopes of simply slipping inside for a look around. Unfortunately, with just one foot in the door, the shine of a guard's flashlight stings her eyes. Caught red-handed and blinded by the accusatory shine, she better scramble to find an excuse. Rant about being a tiger enthusiast or claim to be looking for a lost item. Lost item, obviously. <gasps> we got a tassel from that! Sarah explains that she forgot something on an earlier visit and was hoping to just quickly grab it. This thing is super important. The guard looked dubious, but had actually found something during an earlier patrol, pulling out the lost and found box. A single object rattled inside. Next time, kid, come back during office hours instead of sneaking around. <gasps> Yo, we got a freaking tassel from that. Oh, thank God. I was not trying to be permanently banned, you know? All right, and while we're here, we might as well go to the cave as well. See if we can find a tassel in there. Locals have always ventured into Beard 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 Cove to soak in both the beauty and the history. Along with the eastern along the eastern wall, Sarah finds cave carvings and drawings all splayed out and it tells a tale of war and triumph if you're keen enough to decipher it. Try to decipher it. We got a blue tassel. Oh my god. That's such a long thing. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't, I don't have the, the time or the patience to read a novel right now. <laughs> Anyways, we got two blue tassels today. I would say that's a win. Hold up. I see a place where we could dig over here. 
Let's get that real quick. Nice! Yellow tassel, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is simply what I'm talking about. Okay, so I think that we have five tassels now. So only five more. Wow, my game is working so well right now. Look at her moonwalk. And it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode. I apologize for that, but I want to celebrate Winterfest in Mount Kamarebi with the family. Um, I want to find like a winter cabin that we can place up up in the mountain in Mount Kamarebi and um, yeah, just be there for a couple of days, work on Sarah's aspiration a little bit. Um, yeah, please let me know what you think about her doing all of the all of the like location aspirations where she's got to like. Uh, travel to the world and learn all about their culture and all that jazz. I think that's a pretty good idea. And then maybe if we do enough of them, we can do the super parent aspiration uh, once we're done with all of that. Let's see, Ren is level eight of her career. So she's almost maxed that. Sarah is level four. Um, I think, is she gonna get promoted again today? I wonder. She's level four and her romance skill is already at level seven, which is pretty insane. Not bad, we're gonna max that real fast. So yeah, we'll just keep exploring everything and moving along. Uh, I think we're making good progress on this challenge, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave me comments, let me know what you think. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.